All right, this is Jonesy at the Custom Kids Cars workshop, and we just got a package delivered by FedEx. And if you look close, what is it? Luke Skywalker Land Speeder. We've got my faithful assistant here, and we're going to do an unboxing video. If you guys aren't familiar, um, this is a 12 volt ride on. Go ahead, open it up, buddy. While you're opening it up there, um, it's actually a pretty small box for a 12 volt ride on. Um, well, it's a comparison. It's hard to see, but that's a Peg Prego slingshot. The box is much bigger. Um, those are two seaters. This is a two seater. Um, so, yeah, I haven't given him too sharp of a, a tool. He's doing it with a screwdriver here. So, yeah, get into that. Get this drift trike out of your way. So, we're going to open this guy up and put the parts up on our workbench table here. And I hate to say this, but we're not just going to put this together today. Yeah, just put it up on the table. Um, because we don't need anything stock. This thing's going to have all kinds of upgrades, kind of like this Dodge Ram fire truck. It's not a fire truck anymore. It's actually a four-wheel drive dually. Um, yeah, tear into it, man. And this is... Don't worry about that, son. Let's just see what's in the box. That's what everybody wants to see. They want to see what's in the box. All right, we got that bugger out of the box, and this thing is actually heavy. So uh, that's what it looks like when you guys pull it out of the box. Um, you got to do a lot of assembly. So let's uh, let's dig into this. Go ahead and tilt it on the ground. Actually, yeah, go ahead. That's fine. Um, looks like it already comes with some uh, patina on there. It's got like fake uh, blaster damage. Yeah. Pretty cool. Hopefully. Uh, this thing is as cool as I think it was when I ordered it. This is an exclusive that you can only get this at Toys R Us, I believe. What? I don't know, I order so many of these. Yeah, yeah, let's take all the items out and we'll put them up on the table so that there's the battery. That's the charger connector that's going to be on there. First thing you guys probably want to do is start charging that battery so that when you do get it assembled, Look, the kiddos can go for a ride. Yeah, I think that's like one of the motors. No, I don't think so. Let's get it all out so that we can uh, put it up on the table. It's not a hammer, it's another motor for the back. All right, so I'm going to help Junior, get all this stuff out, and I'm going to start looking at this for potential modification. How I can make this thing cooler, better, custom kids' car style. And I'm seeing that this is probably the steering wheel, so it's a right hand drive, if I'm not mistaken. It is pretty narrow for a two seater, so it's going to be two little kids, and I didn't see where the uh. The seats were so let me dig into this thing and uh, get some of this packaging off guys but we're gonna continue on with the old Luke Skywalker yeah that's the bubble visor it's so cool it, it is, is so cool right yeah guess what those are gonna be broken I don't know what it is kids and windshields they just break them so anyways let's get this mess cleaned up and see what we got to work with for real time assembly of this Radio Flyer land speeder. Uh, it's made by Radio Flyer and it's got really basic construction guys. Four screws and three bolts. Uh, first step is telling you to put the steering wheel extension. So go ahead and line that up there. Alright. Looks like you got it in there good. I take one of those bolts that matches. Look, you got three bolts and it tells you, oh, it's the M520. That's the one. Go ahead and slide that through there. Get it in there. 
Just got sometimes you gotta wiggle it. There it is. All right. Now I can't remember if I have that drill driver on tighten or loosen, so give it a try. See what it does. I really can't remember. Oh, we had it in loosen. Got a magnetic tip on there too. So now that we've got it in tighten, oh, kind of worked out because it popped out. All right. Yep. Go ahead and give that a tighten. Try not to scuff up. Try not to scuff up the body when you're doing this. Put the old wrench on there. Okay, can you hold it up off the body because you're scuffing it? Yep. Here. What we'll do is we'll turn it. Maybe. Let me turn this wheel. That's as high as it's going to go. All right. Go ahead and give it a tight. Perfect. All right. Step one done. Now, that's all the paint that you do. Um, Next one. Next page. All right, guys, since we screwed up on our uh, very first clip here of the assembly, we put the steering shaft in and then we turned the page. We didn't notice this little steering wheel cover. So we went and backtracked and we took the windscreen off and the steering wheel. And now we are going to put the steering wheel cover on that snaps in place. So that you guys don't make this mistake too, because the windscreen is actually not the funnest thing to uh, take back off. And it just looks like a tight fit there. What you want to do is you got to line up that little groove. All right. I think that's going to be helpful for you folks doing this the night before Christmas on Christmas Eve, putting together one of these and swearing and cussing and uh, waking the kids up. So um, hopefully that saved you guys a little bit of trouble. This is you know, the first time we've ever seen one of these. So now on to the step, I guess, three would be the steering wheel. And this might actually be easier to line up now because, yeah, it just slides right up to it. You know, there you go. We made a mistake. We made a boo-boo, but we figured it out. When you have left leftover uh, parts on the bench, that's uh, usually a sign you did something wrong. So it says grab the steering wheel, which he's already got. Bam. Right hand drive. Okay. So you slide that on. And then it's telling you to take the M5 38 millimeter. Matches up. I'll grab the nut. You just slide her down in there. You got it lined up. This is the tricky part is it's got to get lined up with a hole in the shaft. There it is. You can always wiggle a little bit. Make sure you got it in the steering there. So here's the nut. For the bottom. And on this one, it's got a little uh, keeper, so you just push the nut up into it. Yeah, just push it right up in there, and it keeps it so you don't need a wrench. So just hold it up in there. And I'll run the old driver here. Okay, there's step two. Check. Done. All right, now it's telling you to grab the control dash I guess and it's got three connectors one's going to be for the shifter mo uh, batteries and then for the sound effects so more than likely there's going to be a circuit board in here somewhere and I push those down in there my bad all right so you just line them up you cannot mess these connections up can you nope It's stiff wire. No, it goes the other way. Yep. 
and then you have to push real hard and click it together. No, you have to push it together so that it clicks. You have to push it together. Did you hear it click? Okay, look at, see that little barb? It has to match with that. Oh. It only goes one way. Okay. That one's pretty stiff. That might be an adult one. Yeah. See it click? Okay, and then for the sound effects. This one is a little bit deceptive because you got to turn it. So it goes just like that. Now push those together. Hear it click? Yep. All right. So in the instructions, once you put them together, it's telling you to slide the controller in and it snaps into place as you're tucking the wire. Oh, you already got it. He's already got it. All right. That's what, step three? Maybe. I don't know. I think you got her. All right, we're going to turn the page here. So, next step, what's it say to do? Step 11. Um, it says to put in the mirror. The mirror. Yeah, there you go. I haven't found out what this guy is yet. Hmm. It goes right here. Yeah. Oh, he knows. Hey, we'll do that as, as it goes in the right order, right? So it's telling you next to put in the windshield, windscreen. I love this. All right, be careful with that guy. It looks pretty thick. This looks like a, a generous windshield, not like some of the other brands that have really thin ones. So you just got to line up the little grooves and push it down into place. Click and click. As easy as that. What else we got? Now we're to the back end. That's this big part right here, the big jumbo part. So that's what will make this look not so funny, is having the rear end on here. So it's telling you to slide it straight in and line up all of the parts. There you go. And this is the part where you take your four screws. So we're gonna need to grab the four screws as shown in the instructions with the screwdriver. I don't use screwdrivers. All right, so let's start in the middle here. Okay. Start in that one. So I'll hold this part and you get it lined up. Oh, you dropped one of the screws down in there. Hopefully you can get it. There you go. We'll just do one screw at a time. Oh, we're going to have some issues, huh? You dropped it down in there. No, you didn't. You got it. All right. Just line up that one screw. Bingo. Now, take your driver. You know how to work that Milwaukee. If we straight down. Yep. You have to be... It's okay. Keep going. You have to give it a little bit of force. You have to push into it so that it doesn't just slide out. I will help you. Okay. Get it lined up. Okay. Perfect. Grab another screw. Gonna go for that one? Yep. All right. That one looks good. Straight down and push down on the back of that driver. Okay, see how it's spinning? You don't want that because it can strip the head. So you want to make sure that you're pushing your hand on the back side when you drive screws. So line that up. Take your time, bud. You're starting to rush a little bit. No hurry. This is just a video of a seven-year-old assembling a radio flyer land speeder. You're I know what it is. You're just excited to drive this thing, aren't you? All right, last one. Let's see. Oh, I see it's got some clips down here that you need to line up. So maybe that was one of the steps that... Um, they forgot. 
that I didn't look at closely. Why he's uh, getting that last one in there. Excellente. Let's see here. It just kind of says rotate and snap in. All right. Check. Done. Now it's time for the boosters. Well, they're saying to grab the big one. Let's do it in order so everybody... All right. Um, he likes to jump around. I guess he's he's jumping down to uh, step 16 here. That was about as easy as it gets. All right. Now that big guy... Oh, and guess what? I just now noticed that we uh, have a spare part here. We forgot to put the cover for the steering wheel. Oops. Oops. We uh, didn't put that on, so we'll go ahead and uh, redo that. All right, so you push that rear booster all the way in, and it's got a bolt that's supposed to go through. So you got a long ways to push this in. There. Now see if that lines up. And we got... Go ahead and put it in there. Okay. Nope, not matched. Not matched up? Sure. All right. This one will be a little tricky, huh? Let's try this side. Yeah, it does feel like it's... Oh, got it. Okay. There's the nut. There's the nut. Yep. Put that on. Now that one, because of its uh, tight space, we might just use the old screwdriver for that. So you got that started? Okay. Um, there's a screwdriver. It's on the other side, though. That's the nut. That's not going to work, son. That's the nut. So you put this wrench on the nut, and you put the screwdriver in the screw head. See? Okay. He's got it. Other than that one step that we uh, missed. Look at this hold on. Hold on. We got to look at the instructions. We're trying to help people because guess what? Some people. Um, oh, no. Yeah. There it is, step 20. That's what you want to jump to. But we're in step 17. What is that? Put on the seat. The seat back. That's right. Well, you got the seat backwards. There you go. There you go. We'll get all this wiring up out of the way. So, he's, while he's messing with that, I'll actually look at this. It basically says to go straight down with it. And then rotate the seat. So, hold on, we got to connect the battery. Oh, see, what you got to do is, when you come down, these little oh, yeah. tabs need to go in side okay well we need to connect the battery okay. so that just sits in there there's no screws or anything so connect the two battery connectors mister okay do you see how they need to be twisted opposite oh yeah okay they make it pretty easy you can't mess it up Okay, and also, that needs to be inside. See that black thing? It needs to be inside. And that white thing. And the white thing. And you should hear a click. I can do this. I know you can do this. How's it going? Good. Oh, I think you got it. I heard a click. That looks like a fine connection to me. Get that guy all tucked down in there because now it's asking you to take the seat bottom. And that's how you lock it. Yep. There it is. And then sometimes you have to wiggle that. Bam. Bam. There it is, dude. No screws? And then 
Um, so step 20, what is that now? What are we up to? We're up to putting that in the car. Yeah, that's some like radar thing or something. I think it actually turns this way. Nope, you're right, it does go that way. Once that's in, it's not going to come out. Click. I think we need, like, so, Nope, no, that's it. There's no more parts. Nah, we'll leave that unlocked because we're going to take the battery out because technically we didn't charge it. Um, we don't actually use these stock chargers. And we'll talk about some of uh, the quality. Um, this is a stock wall charger. It's pretty wimpy. It's only a 1 amp, so it's pretty slow. That's a 12 amp hour battery. Um, you can stay, charge that up to 20% of its capacity. So you could charge that at... 2.4 volts safely. It is a little bit small. Uh, this guy's seven, average size, and man, this thing is teeny. So, in theory, if we put this in reverse and you give it some gas, what's it do? All right, hold up, hold up. We'll do uh, uh, features and stuff now. So. We've got a bunch of buttons and stuff in there. If you could move your leg, what do we got? Do those actually work? Okay. Oh, I like that one. And then it looks like for this mirror, you put it in the wrong way, backwards. I like that one. You like that one? So I already know what we're going to do for sure is we're going to add an amplifier and a better speaker because uh, they're cool sound effects, but we do much better here at Custom Kids Cars. Um, so that's it, guys. Your Radio Flyer Land Speeder. It says it's a two-seater, but unless your kid's like three or four... Yeah, he is cramped in there. Uh, look at his poor foot, the way that it's got to uh, run in there. So I'll have to admit, since they didn't have any of these in the store, I had no idea how big it was going to be. And then when I got the box, I had a feeling it was going to be pretty small. So um, I hope you guys like this video. We're going to basically cut it short here because this was just an unboxing and assembly. And this thing's cool, but we can make it way cooler. So... If you guys like this video make sure you leave a comment subscribe and keep looking for the upgrades for the um, next video of what we're gonna do to this guy all right thanks for watching little clip uh, show in reverse so there's reverse speed you can keep going backwards all right, and what we did is, if you noticed in that video, there was a high-speed lockout screw in here. Well, we took it out, um, so that's low speed. That'll be high speed, so show them what this thing does in full speed. Not bad. It's got some juice to it. All right, that's it. We just wanted to show a little bit of uh, driving. Bye, guys. All right.